you read the title, yes, I'm making a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. In this video, you will learn about that and every other big project I'm working on. I've been keeping a lot from you guys regarding my future plans, so today, I'm dropping everything on you guys. And be sure to stick to the end of the video because there is a bunch of details here about the future of the channel that you must know. But before we begin, only two and a half percent of my viewers are actually subscribed. What are you doing? Click that button. Well, I guess the low ratio is excusable due to the astronomical performance of my videos right now, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for that. So, without further ado, let's get into the updates. To start things off, I wanted to go over what is by far the biggest project in the works right now, my upcoming film, The Green Screen Chronicles. Oh wait, new logo. So The Green Screen Chronicles is an upcoming abomination of a movie by me with the plot directed by green screen clips from YouTubers. And before I get into the project's updates, I have to announce something. This is a film that anyone can be in, ranging from like Mr. Beast to even you guys. No matter your channel size, you could submit green screen clips to be included in this film. All you have to do is put hashtag go green or go home TGSC in a green screen clip video of your creation or at me on my discord server with your clips. And if you do that, you will automatically be put into a random part of the film. Well, if I see it. Anyway, now to the updates. To set the scale, this project is big enough where I was considering giving it its own update video, but I haven't announced anything about it since it was first publicly announced back over a year ago, so in this part of the video I'm going to drop everything on you guys that isn't spoilers or doesn't spoil much. So I first announced this project back in August of 2022 with a YouTube short advertising adding characters to the project, and here is how it was received. That's not even how you spell chronicles! Yeah, not that well. Come December, I created another teaser, which at the time I liked, but now I think it sucks, it was kind of cringe, and I didn't tease at anything other than the production starting 2023. Which, unfortunately, I don't see that happening. Especially with the FNAF fan film I'm doing now in the mix, which stay till the end if you want to learn about it. Following recapping you on what you know, let me tell you what this project looked like when I first announced it. So back when I was trying to use Reddit to get characters, there were only 8 roles. A plot based on throwing characters into random pieces of pop culture, like most green screen edits, and it would have probably lasted about 30 to 45 minutes, with the goal of only being the world's longest green screen edit which I'd say it probably would achieve. But now, there are upwards of 30 characters going beyond even YouTubers. Those characters being, whoops, can't say that yet. Production begins the day of the release of the character reveal video, which is not now. Another thing, there will be two versions of this movie releasing publicly with one of them maybe cracking two hours long. The film should also be the best representation of the internet in an internet themed movie, and it's planned to celebrate 20 years of YouTube. Which, unless you can't count, means that it won't be releasing anytime before 2025. And stuff doesn't stop there. I didn't just plan out one movie, but this could get a sequel, possibly a video game, and all of that being covered in lore may be more insane than Five Nights at Freddy's. But the big reason why production for this project has been incredibly slow is because at this point it's more of a passion project than anything. From the beginning, it was more of a creative test than a movie. And all I just wanted to say is that this project isn't cancelled, it's still a work in progress, and trust me, it should be worth the wait. Next up, I want to go over what's coming closest to now, my parody of History of the Entire World, I guess, based on the FNAF lore. And unfortunately, I have to start out with bad news. I highly doubt that I'm getting this out before the release of the FNAF movie. My main plan was to release it right before the FNAF movie came out to drag a lot of attention towards my project during the hype buildup. But judging on the fact that I just completed my voiceover recordings only a few weeks ago, and I have only completed roughly about a sixth of the audio editing, that just seems like an unrealistic goal. But who knows, maybe I'll just plow through the rest of the audio editing and visuals in only a month. But that's insanely unlikely. But the odds are definitely supporting this being done this year. 
but you cannot give me beef for delaying this project because i can tell you that in the first minute of the completed video which is the amount of the project so far that is 100 percent complete it practically looks one to one with Bill Wirt's editing style, which actually blew me away. I actually dropped the first 12 seconds of the video early on my Discord recently, so if you want to see a sneak peek, be sure to join. Another thing I wanted to say regarding this project is that recording the audio was an actual nightmare. I got over three hours worth of audio recordings on my PC from a script that is over 30 pages long, where I had to maintain a really quick reading pace for every word both narrating, singing, and voice acting. And looking back at it, I'd say my biggest dislike is the fact that I don't really sound like Bill Wirtz. But other than that, things are looking great. And the last thing I wanted to say that I find hard to believe, this video idea is about as old as my YouTube channel itself. No joke, I recently found that I last touched my first rendition of this script in May of 2021. Almost a quarter of a decade ago. Who knows, maybe in the behind the scenes and bloopers video, I'll go over that rendition to see what has changed. Alright, this one I'm probably going to quickly glide over because it's competing to be the least big of the projects I'm talking about today. This is the closing scratch project for my scratch account that I promised back around May this year. And, can I be real for a second? I have not touched that project since I made that announcement. But I wanted to mention it here because the project has definitely not been cancelled. I've just shelved it because I want to put my attention towards the projects here on YouTube. But since that old announcement, I've made sure that the custom assets I've made for the game don't get deleted accidentally. And I've also swapped my scratch email from my school account to my personal email account. Because if I didn't, I would lose access to everything come when I graduate high school. But yeah, that's about it with the Scratch project because a lot of things regarding this project I want to keep a secret, like the theme, game genre, and gameplay style. But you are free to theorize what the game will be about in the comments. And now to the thing that I wouldn't even really consider a big project, but like the Scratch project, wanted to give it some light. This is the GameBro Gaming Movie Review concept. This is one that I had promised all the way back in April this year. And despite that, nothing has came out related to my movie review series. So, in this part of the video, I wanted to address the three reasons why I didn't post anything related to GameBro Gaming Movie Review, and my plans for it in the future. So, first off, I doubt that movie reviews will work well on a gaming channel, unless it's a review of a video game related movie. Second thing, the ranking meter for the concept is constantly changing. One month a ranking percentage means one thing, the next it means something completely different. The Mario movie, which was what I ranked publicly, got an 80% back then. Now it's at a 74, which is worth less than a 74 back when the Mario movie was an 80. Confusing, right? Great, it explains itself. And the final thing, which is the biggest reason why I haven't posted any reviews on the channel, usually whenever I try something new on the channel it either bombs horribly, or it's so successful that it shifts the focus of the content I have to post to be successful on YouTube. So now, what's next for GameBro Gaming Movie Review? So my current plan is to use the experimental channel that I create currently named GameBro2 for this series. This is smart YouTube wise because I could have one channel devoted to only this concept, so that's why second channels exist. And I'd actually say we could see this happening really soon. So subscribe to GameBro2 before I change up the channel and start posting movie reviews. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. What is this mentioning of a Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming to my channel? Well, recently I joined a special film class in high school and I wanted this to be my first expression of my true raw talent in filmmaking to hit the channel. And let me tell you, this film should be nowhere short of amazing if all goes correctly. Unlike the Green Screen Chronicles that has a very uncertain time of release, this has an exact release date already if it doesn't get cancelled. August 8th, 2024, the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. Because well, inevitably, I have to finish this film a couple months prior if I don't want a bad grade for the class. So, the film will involve a night guard spending five nights at a pizzeria named Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. No, 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 no. This film is going to be far more original than that. Get your head out of the gutter. But unfortunately, I'm leaving the plot a secret until the first trailers drop. But to give you an idea, this plot will feel almost reminiscent of a Fazbear Fright story. More specifically, the story To Be Beautiful. 
but it won't have anything to do with sister location. Kind of. I might have said too much without saying enough, but unfortunately I want to leave this film with as much speculation room as possible, so I'm not saying anything else about it. And with that, you know everything about my future plans on the channel. So, thank you so much for... Er, um, wait, there's something else. Um, coming soon on the channel, after deciding to recently cancel a reaction series, reacting to an a ARG analog horror series based on the YouTuber Jay Schlatt, uh, I wanted to prove that I can actually make content like the videos I was watching and like most reaction YouTubers. Um, this should hopefully be a series based on another YouTuber I really enjoy who also currently resides in Texas, Jimmy here. The creator of the It's Wednesday My Dudes Vine and the You Laugh You Lose series with over 170 episodes. And you should be able to start seeing episodes both on this YouTube channel and on Jimmy Here's You Laugh You Lose live streams on Twitch in the coming weeks. So be sure to look out for the episodes on the analog horror series Jimmy Is Here by Gamebro Gaming. Huh.